In this video, I'm going to give you the recipe and the process for how to make butter rolls. Butter rolls are a really popular item at the holiday seasons, and they're actually fairly easy to make. They only take about three hours or even less from start to finish. They're easier to make than most rolls because they're held in a cupcake pan, which is a form that holds their shape and allows them to rise. When you get started, you need to take out a stick and a half of butter to let it warm up to soften because that gets rolled and laminated into the dough as layers. We'll put the recipe up on the screen for you and then we'll get started. I have all my ingredients measured up and ready. I'm going to place them in the bowl to start this dough mixing. There's no special process for this. You just add everything to the bowl and mix it up. Just do not put your one and a half sticks of butter. They don't go in the bowl. Save those, set those aside. We need those after the dough is mixed. I've placed everything in the bowl and I'm ready to start up this mixer. After this dough pulls together, I'm going to let this run for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to shut it off. So that ran for 10 minutes. It's ready. I'm going to take it off the machine. And we're not really going to do anything with this right now other than take it out of the bowl. And we're just going to let it relax. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour onto a clean tray. Take the dough. And just press it down. We're going to let this rest for a good 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then we'll go on to the next stage. This dough has rested for about 20 minutes, so it's ready for the next step, which is to get this butter rolled out. I'm going to roll out this butter just to flatten it out. I like to put it in a little bit of flour, and it's kind of a plastic texture. We just want to get it rolled out so that we can place it into the dough. Okay, so that's ready. Now I'm going to take, I'm going to uncover the dough. I'm going to save the plastic because we're going to still need that plastic. I'm going to place the dough onto the workbench. And I'm going to try to keep this dough in a rectangular shape with square corners. You, it's better if it doesn't have a very oval shape to it. It's always better if you keep it as square as possible, or at least the corners as square as possible. I'm going to turn it like this. And we're going to place the butter in on two-thirds of this. I don't even know if I have the exact right size, but I think we do. That looks pretty good. I'm going to cut one piece of this. Now we have butter on roughly two-thirds of the dough. We fold it over one-third. Then we fold it over again. And we're going to let this rest. So I'll put it back on the tray. I'm going to cover it back up with plastic. And then we're going to let it rest for another 15 minutes for the next step. This dough has rested for about another 15 minutes, so it's ready for the next step, which is to fold it. So I'm going to set it aside, put a little flour on my table. I can already feel that this dough is starting to rise and puff up a little bit, so the yeast is moving quite well. All we have to do is roll this out into a rectangular shape. And we're going to fold it. And then after we fold it, we're going to let it rest again. And then we're going to cut it into portions. And this is going to be cut into 24 portions, two, two dozen pieces, because each of your cupcake pans has one dozen cups in it. So this will make two dozen rolls. So we fold it to the middle. Let me do that again just to show you. Eyeball the middle, estimate, that's the middle. Bring one side to the middle, bring the other side to the middle, and just fold it in half, and that's a book fold. We'll try to flatten it out just a little bit more. Place it back onto the tray, and we're going to cover this with plastic. Since the dough is already rising and it seems to be at a good temperature, I'm not even going to put this in the refrigerator. We're going to work it right away, so it should be fine. I'm going to leave it just like that. I just finished grease oiling up my pans. 
I'm just putting a little bit of vegetable oil on them. That's all they need. I have those ready. I'm going to set those aside. And now I'm going to show you how to portion out this dough. This dough is going to get portioned out into 24 pieces, which is pretty easy to do with a rectangular piece of dough. I'll save that plastic because I'm probably still going to need it. I'm going to place the dough here. I don't know if you could see, but the dough is rising. You could feel the air that's in it. I'm going to press it down. I'm going to roll it out. Always try to roll your dough from the center towards the end. It's a nice long rectangular piece. And to get 24 pieces, we're going to cut this into 3 by 8, and that'll give us 24 pieces. Keeping those corners as squared off as we can will help everything come out to be pretty consistent in size. And if these are not exactly all the same size, it's perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to leave it like that. I'm just going to use a kitchen knife. First, I'm going to mark it, estimating thirds. So that's pretty close. So there's three rows. Now all we have to do is cut this into eight. And to cut into eight is very easy. We're going to cut it in half. Then each half, we're going to cut into quarters. And there's our 24. And then I'll show you what the next step is going to be in a moment. Next step is to twist these into butterflies. I have a couple large ones and a couple that came out a little small, so I'm just going to even them up a little bit. Maybe I'll take just a little piece of dough off the ones that look small, and I'll place it on the ones that look like they came out a little bit large. That'll just balance them out a little bit. But they, they look like they're pretty close. So to make these into their final shape before we put them in the cups, you just take one at a time, kind of stretch it, and give it a twist, just like a bow tie. Just like a bow tie, and then you just take that bow tie, fold it in half, and place it in the cup. Please pardon the appearance of my cupcake pans. These things are well used. They've been used a lot. So again, a little bow tie twist, fold it in half, place it into the cup. And I'll go ahead and I'll do that with all of these. Twisting up the last of these and putting them in the cups. I have the cups all filled up. Now these could be either allowed to rise now and then bake them right now, or they can be placed in the refrigerator so that we could allow them to be stored overnight and then we could bake them the next day. So I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and I'm probably going to bake them later, but they will need to be allowed to rise. So when I'm ready to bake them, I'll take them out, let them warm up, probably an hour or so they'll rise and then we'll bake them. I've taken the butter rolls out of the refrigerator. I placed some warm sheet pans underneath them to help them warm up and help them rise faster. You can see they are rising nicely. They're going to be ready to be baked pretty soon. So I'm going to go preheat my oven to 400 degrees. You want a nice hot 400 degree oven to bake these. It only took about an hour for these to rise. So I took the plastic off. They're almost double in size and I'm placing them in the oven. I'm putting one on the lower shelf, one on the middle shelf, and I'm going to give these about eight minutes, and I'm going to come back and change the positions of them. I'm going to switch the top one with the bottom one. I'm probably going to give them another seven or eight minutes after that. I think these are going to take about 15 to 18 minutes to bake. It's been eight minutes. They're starting to brown up just a little bit, so I'm going to reverse the position of them. And then I'm going to give them another, another eight minutes after that. It's been another nine minutes, so these are ready. They look a little bit light, but that's the way I like to bake these. So I'm taking them out. I'm trying to do this by myself because I don't have a helper here right now. But the total bake time on these was 17 minutes. I'm going to brush these with a little bit of olive oil. You can brush them with a little bit of melted butter or a little bit of vegetable oil or a little bit of olive oil. Anything you like, just a little bit of oil on top shines them up, makes them look nice, and actually keeps them a little bit moist too. And there you go, two dozen homemade butter rolls fresh out of the oven. And boy, these smell good. I hope you enjoy this recipe.